and welcome to Wipeout. Wait, Nicole, you smell that? Sorry, I got nervous. No, that's not you, there's magic in the air. From trailblazers who broke barriers to emerging stars redefining the industry, these actresses have not only captivated audiences with their performances, but also use their platforms to advocate for the LGBTQ plus community. Get ready as we count down these remarkable women who are not just acting icons, but powerful voices for change. That was nice. Yes, it was. He knows who I am. I dare say he knows who you are. Number 50, Maria Bello. Back in the mid 90s, bisexual actress Maria Bello turned her one time gig on ER into a full time job and hasn't stopped since. She stands out from many other actors because her work mainly includes big films like Coyote Ugly, A History of Violence, and The Private Lives of Pippa Lee, and TV series like Prime Suspect, Touch, and a good run of 73 episodes on NCIS. Plus, she's taken on gay roles in shows like Beef, the first season of Goliath on Prime Video, and Law & Order SVU. Number 49. Janet Varney Janet Varney, a comic actor and writer, voices Cora in The Legend of Cora. She's been all over TV since 2004, popping up in shows like You're the Worst and playing Melina Marquez in the cool, lesser-known lesbian comedy series Take My Wife. Oh, and she came out as bisexual back in 2018. Number 48. Megan Cavanaugh Megan kicked off her acting career in style with her first role as Marla Hooch in A League of Their Own. She kept the momentum going with guest appearances on some key sitcoms of that time and eventually ventured into voice acting, like voicing Judy Neutron in various projects. Also, she played a gay character in X's and O's, a short-lived lesbian sitcom on Logo. Number 47. Stephanie Aline A comedic actress known as Tig Notaro's wife has been in a lot of comedy shorts. She rocks the role of Nat, the gay character in the L word, Generation Q, and also teamed up with her wife, Tig Notaro, in the show One Mississippi. Number 46. Maria Olsen Maria Olsen, a South African actress, is seriously into horror movies. And I mean, she's in a whole lot of them. It's like her thing. She seems to be big in those smaller, niche horror films, some of which are Paranormal Activity 3 and Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The Lightning Thief. The rest? Pure horror. Number 45. Cassandra Peterson Cassandra Peterson has had a pretty awesome career playing Elvira. She's been all over the place doing Elvira-centric projects and popping up as Elvira in guest spots. Out of her 91 screen appearances since 1971, more than half are in videos, TV series, and films where she's rocking it as Elvira. Number 44. Lily Tomlin Lily Tomlin, a lesbian actress, has been in a bunch of TV shows like Murphy Brown, Grace and Frankie, and The West Wing. She's also the voice of Mrs. Frizzle in The Magic School Bus and has brought her character Edith Ann to TV, movies, and even Sesame Street. Robert Altman often chose her for his movies like Nashville and Shortcuts. She's also known for classic films like 9 to 5 and Big Business. Plus, she's portrayed gay characters in the indie film Grandma and in Tea with Mussolini. Number 43. Mae Whitman You might be surprised to see Mae Whitman, a younger actor compared to most up here, right? Well, Mae is actually an amazing voice actress and has worked on over 40 shows and movies, plus loads of video games, which aren't even included in these rankings. She was born in L.A., with her mom being a voice artist and her dad working as a manager and set coordinator. May started acting as a little kid in the mid-90s in movies like One Fine Day and Independence Day. She's well known for her main roles in TV shows like Parenthood and Good Girls, where she plays a mom to a trans kid. In 2021, she came out as pansexual. May also voices the queer character Amity Blight in The Owl House and had a queer role in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Number 42. Miriam Margulies Miriam Margulies, a British lesbian actress, has a pretty impressive resume with over 100 on-screen roles and a successful theater career. Chances are you've seen her as Professor Sprout in Harry Potter or in shows like Call the Midwife or Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. Fun fact, she's been with her partner Heather Sutherland, an Australian academic, since way back in 1968. 
Number 41. Rosie O'Donnell Rosie O'Donnell, a lesbian comic, actor, and producer, hit it big in the 90s with her talk show. She's since picked fun projects like Rolls and Smilf, The Fosters, Will and Grace, and The L Word, Generation Q. Remember her in A League of Their Own? She's in hits like Sleepless in Seattle and The Flintstones, too. Rosie played gay characters in Will and Grace, Mom, A League of Their Own TV series, and The L Word, Generation Q. And let's be real, we all know her character in the original League of Their Own movie was gay, too. Number 40. Jillian Anderson Everyone loves Jillian Anderson, the legendary bisexual actress who probably turned you gay at some point during The X-Files, Sex Education, The Fall, Hannibal, or American Gods. In The Fall, she played the bisexual detective Stella Gibson, and she was the powerhouse Eleanor Roosevelt, who's also bisexual, in Showtime's The First Lady. Number 39. Alia Shawkat Like the other younger stars on this list, Elia Shawkat has been acting since she was just 11, juggling both live action and voice roles. She first made a splash as maybe in Arrested Development. Elia is known for playing queer characters in shows like Search Party, Transparent, Broad City, and in movies like Duck Butter, The Intervention, and May in the Summer. Number 38, Ione Sky. Sky hit the big time with her role as Diane Court in the 1989 rom-com Say Anything, and then kept the ball rolling with movies like Wayne's World and Gas Food Logic. She's been keeping busy with a mix of TV, films, and shorts every year, popping up in shows like Camping, Arrested Development, Good Girls, and La Brea. Sky also played a gay character in Carmilla. Number 37. Michelle C. Bonilla Since 1995, Bonilla has been pretty busy mostly doing short stints of one to three episodes on various TV shows. She's also had regular roles on series like ER and Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Number 36, Mary Lynn Rajku. Famous for her role in 24, this multi-talented artist has been all over TV, with guest appearances and recurring roles in shows like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, The Girlfriend Experience, Veronica's Closet, The Dropout, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. She's been open about dating both men and women since the 1990s and talked more about it in 2012. In May 2022, she released a book called Famish, My Life at the Edge of Stardom. Mary Lynn Rashkub also played a lesbian character in Sunshine Cleaning. Number 35, Kathleen Monroe. This Canadian actress has appeared in almost 50 TV shows like Stargate Universe, Alphas, CSI New York, Call Me Fitz, FBI, Resurrection, Patriot, Cold Case, Without a Trace, and Haven. Kathleen Monroe had a recurring role as a bisexual character in the popular queer Facebook watch series, Strangers. Number 34. Kiki Palmer This singer and actress, who snagged an Emmy, began her acting career super young at 11, popping up in films like The Barbershop 2, Back in Business, Aquila and the Bee, and Medea's Family Reunion. She landed her own show, True Jackson VP, and has been in live-action hits like Star and Screen, the TV series, not to mention voice work, most recently in The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. Kiki Palmer also takes on a lesbian character in Pimp and stars in Jordan Peele's newest scary movie, Nope. Number 33. Queen Latifah Queen Latifah has really done it all. Not only is she a hip-hop pioneer, but she's also rocked it in a bunch of rom-coms, musicals like Chicago and Hairspray, and TV shows like The Equalizer, Living Single, and Star. And hey, she's not just in front of the camera. She's got 48 producer credits to her name, too. Plus, she's played some cool queer characters in Bessie and Set It Off, and even did a cameo as Hattie McDaniel in Hollywood. Number 32. Wanda Sykes Wanda Sykes, the legendary lesbian comedian, had her own show, Wanda at Large, back in 2003, and has been a familiar face in a bunch of others since then, like The New Adventures of Old Christine, Alpha House, Blackish, The Other Two, and The Upshaws, not to mention loads of animated series. She's also played gay characters in shows like Velma, Q Force, and Broad City, and in movies like Breaking News in Yuba County and Friendsgiving. Number 31, Bai Ling. 
Thai Ling, a Chinese-born bisexual actress, started acting at 14 and has since become a versatile actress. She's done everything from Sharknado 5 to Oliver Stone's Nixon and indie films, plus TV appearances and reality shows. She started in the Chinese People's Liberation Army before moving to the U.S. in 1991 and has been openly bisexual for years. She also played a queer role in Spike Lee's She Hates Me. Number 30. Wendy Crewson You may not immediately know who this Canadian actress is, but you've surely seen her around. She came out as a lesbian in 2014 and has been a familiar face on TV, with regular or recurring roles in 18 shows like Pretty Hard Cases, Saving Hope and Working Moms, plus guest appearances in 25 others and roles in 43 TV movies. She's also been in mainstream movies like Air Force One, Room, The Covenant, and The Sixth Day. Wendy Crewson has played LGBTQ plus characters in iconic films like Better Than Chocolate, An Unexpected Love, and Mercy. Number 29. Drew Barrymore Drew's been in the acting game since she was a kid, and these days, she's even producing her own talk show. But let's not forget, she's primarily known for her movie roles. Think of classics like E.T., Boys on the Side, Never Been Kissed, Ever After, Poison Ivy, Scream, The Wedding Singer, Charlie's Angels, and many more. Drew Barrymore has also portrayed LGBTQ plus characters in films like Everybody's Fine, Poison Ivy, and in an episode of Roseanne. Number 28. Tessa Thompson Tessa Thompson, a popular queer actress, first gained attention in Mississippi Damned and Four Colored Girls. She since starred in hits like Dear White People, Selma, Creed, and Passing, and as Valkyrie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a character she's confirmed as queer. Tessa's knack for portraying queer roles is notable, including in Men in Black International, as well as guest spots in Cold Case and Bojack Horseman. Number 27. Allison Stoner Music videos don't count for this list, but that's where queer actor, singer, dancer Stoner first showed up. Grooving in Missy Elliott's Work It. Around the same time, she hit the Disney Channel scene, starring in the 2003 flick Cheaper by the Dozen. She was the face of Disney Channel's Mike's Super Short Show, rocked the role of Max in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and popped up in the Step Up series. Nowadays, Stoner's mainly into voice acting, lending her talents to shows like The Loud House, Hamster and Gretel, The Legend of Korra, and Phineas and Ferb. Number 26. Meredith Baxter Mama Keaton from Family Ties really made her mark back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, showing up in an impressive 50 TV movies, 33 TV guest appearances, and 7 regular or recurring roles. She came out in 2009. Meredith Baxter took on a bunch of LGBTQ roles, like a gay guest character on Glee, playing a lesbian mom in a CBS school break special, acting in a queer role in the web series We Have to Stop Now, and portraying a gay character in Other Mothers. Number 25. Taryn Manning Even though she's often tagged as one of those tough-to-work-with actors, Manning has still landed plenty of cool gigs. She's been known for her standout role as Pensatucky in Orange is the New Black, before that, she made waves in the Britney Spears hit Crossroads and the Eminem-inspired flick 8 Mile. Number 24. Holland Taylor Our Queen Mother Holland Taylor has been in at least one episode or played a notable role in pretty much every TV show, right? She grabbed an Emmy for The Practice and got nods for Two and a Half Men, The Lot, and Hollywood. Some other TV gigs that stood out include The Morning Show, Who's and Buddies, Mr. Mercedes, The Chair, and All My Children. Who didn't adore her in Legally Blonde? She was up for a Tony for Anne in 2013, adding to her eight Broadway shows. Holland Taylor was totally iconic playing Peggy Peabody in The L Word, and even her character in Two and a Half Men had a brief lesbian storyline. Number 23. Jodie Foster Lesbian actress Jodie Foster is choosy with her roles, but since she's been in the biz since 1969, she's still got a pretty impressive list. This actress, director, and two-time Oscar winner has a bunch of standout roles like Contact, Taxi Driver, The Accused, Panic Room, The Silence of the Lambs, Little Man Tate, and Freaky Friday. And Jodie Foster takes on LGBTQ roles in films like Hotel New Hampshire and Carney. Number 22. Diora Baird 
actress and ex-model Deora Baird is known for her roles in big movies like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Wedding Crashers, and My Best Friend's Girl. She's also popped up in loads of TV shows like Shameless and Cobra Kai. Plus, she's graced the cover of just about every magazine you can think of. Baird opened up about her sexuality in a 2017 interview with The Advocate. Number 21. Fortune Feimster Fortune Feimster first hit the TV scene in 2010 on Last Comic Standing and quickly became a familiar face on Chelsea Lately and After Lately. She's also snagged parts on shows like Two Broke Girls, Glee, Mulaney, Workaholics, and The Mindy Project. She's still big in the reality show circuit, hosting and judging gigs on shows like Is It Cake and Nailed It, plus doing guest spots and voice roles on shows like The Simpsons and Q4s. Feimster often plays LGBTQ characters, like Rudy in the short-lived sitcom Champions, Alice's cousin Heather in the L-word Generation Q, roles in the Mindy Project, Tales of the City, The Simpsons, Summer Camp Island, Q-Force, Sunnyside, and Craig of the Creek. Number 20. Fiona Shaw This talented Irish lesbian actress has really shown in both theater and film, earning nominations and awards aplenty. She's well known for her roles in Killing Eve, True Blood, and the Harry Potter series. Plus, she's portrayed a gay character on stage in The Power Book. Number 19. Gillian Armanante Gillian Armanante has been popping up in loads of TV show episodes and movies since 1991. She's been a regular on Judging Amy and had a recurring role in Fresh Off the Boat. Also, she's portrayed gay characters in Sex in the Lives of College Girls and Strong Medicine. Number 18. Niecy Nash Ever since her debut role as Woman at Diner in Boys on the Side back in 1995, the hilarious and talented Niecy Nash has really made a name for herself. She's famous for her memorable part as Deputy Rainisha Williams in Reno 911 and more recently as Desna Sims in Claws. Niecy has lent her voice to animated shows and absolutely shines in every part she plays, like in Masters of Sex, When They See Us, and Scream Queens. Currently, she's playing a lesbian character in The Rookie, Feds, and has also played a gay role in The Mindy Project. Number 17. Anna Akana Akana is a super versatile talent, juggling roles as an actor, director, writer, and producer. She first caught her attention in Stitchers and the gay holiday rom-com Let It Snow. Her resume is packed with loads of TV roles like Jupiter's Legacy and A Million Little Things, and she's done a bunch of shorts, often writing or directing them too. Anna played gay characters in both Let It Snow and Stitchers. Number 16. Aubrey Plaza The awesome bisexual icon Aubrey Plaza is known for her witty style in shows like Park and Recreation, Legion, White Lotus, and cool comedies like Ingrid Goes West and Addicted to Fresno. Aubrey has played gay roles in Happiest Season, Addicted to Fresno, and the short film ad She Said, She Said. Number 15. Kate McKinnon Lesbian superstar Kate McKinnon famous from Saturday Night Live, has been involved in some really cool projects like Barbie, Ghostbusters, Bombshell, Rough Night, and Joe and Carol. She recently left SNL to dive into even more exciting stuff. Kate's played queer characters in Bombshell, Ghostbusters, let's be real here, and Life Partners, plus a bunch of hilarious sketches on The Big Gay Sketch Show and Saturday Night Live. Number 14. Allie Liebert Canadian actress Ali Liebert first caught our eye in 2012 as the 40s butch lesbian Betty McRae in Bomb Girls on Global TV. But even before that, she'd been landing guest spots and recurring roles in TV shows filmed in Canada, like The L Word, since 2003. She's kept busy with roles in Family Law, One of Us is Lying, Van Helsing, and others. Lately, she's been showing up in and even directing Christmas movies for Hallmark including the LGBTQ-friendly Every Time a Bell Rings. Apart from Bomb Girls and Every Time a Bell Rings, she's taken on queer roles in Legends of Tomorrow, Lost Girl, and Ten Days in the Valley. Number 13. Jane Lynch Jane Lynch, an Emmy winner and 13-time nominee, has been a staple in the entertainment world since 1988. She's well known for her roles in hit shows like Glee, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Only Murders in the Building, and classics like Two and a Half Men and The L Word. 
not just on screen. She's also been a popular voice in animated series like American Dad and Harriet the Spy. Lynch, openly lesbian, has seamlessly juggled a variety of roles, both queer and straight, proving her versatility. She's also graced the Broadway stage in Funny Girl and is celebrated as one of the greatest character actors. Her career, marked by a willingness to embrace diverse opportunities, includes memorable gay roles in shows like The L Word and Best in Show. Number 12. Bella Thorne Bella Thorne, who's the youngest on our list, has been in quite a few so-so movies, but hey, props to her for keeping busy with acting gigs while also diving into music. She's best known for her TV roles in Shake It Up, Famous in Love, and Scream, and for her film work in The Duff and Midnight Sun. Fun fact, she's not just about acting. She started modeling as a baby and has been in over 40 commercials, though that's not part of her main gig count. Number 11. Sophie Ward This British actress landed her first acting gig when she was just 11 and later became known for her roles in Young Sherlock Holmes, Book of Blood, Heartbeat, Land Girls, and Jane Eyre. More recently, she popped up in the Netflix series A Very British Scandal. Sophie Ward took on a lesbian role in the 1995 TV movie A Village Affair and had brief queer roles in an episode of Agatha Raisin and In the Hunger. Number 10. Raven Simone Raven kicked off her acting career at just four years old, landing a role on A Different World and then spending three years on The Cosby Show. She's been in an impressive 398 episodes of various live-action TV shows, most notably that's So Raven for 100 episodes, Raven's Home, 95 episodes, Hang In With Mr. Cooper for 79 episodes, and The Cosby Show for 64 episodes. Oh, and she played a gay character in Blackish. Number 9. Aubrey Plaza Aubrey, everyone's favorite bi icon, is known for her deadpan style in Parks and Recreation, Legion, White Lotus, and comedies like Ingrid Goes West and Addicted to Fresno. She's also played queer characters in Happiest Season, Addicted to Fresno, and the short film ad She Said, She Said. Number 8. Margaret Cho Margaret Cho, who starred in the groundbreaking Asian-American sitcom All-American Girl back in 94 and 95, has a super diverse and fun resume. She's done everything from animated series to indie gay films, guest appearances on LGBTQ-friendly shows, and roles in TV series like Drop Dead Diva. She's portrayed queer characters in the movie Fire Island and TV shows like Good Trouble, The Flight Attendant, and High Maintenance. Number 7. Haviland Stillwell Evelyn Stilwell, an actress, singer, producer, and advocate, has a portfolio that covers Broadway, film, TV, and animation. She's best known for voicing Raquel in Barbie, Life in the Dream House. Her TV roles span Six Degrees, Eastwick, The Client List, Stitchers, CSI New York, The Witches of Eastwick, Unreal, The Faith Diaries, and Single Ladies. Plus, she's been in movies like Magic Mike XXL and Selma. Recently, she's done voice work for High Guardian Spice and Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Haviland has played queer characters in the web series Unicorn Planet and Easy Abbey and in the indie film Freelancers Anonymous. Number 6. Jamie King Jamie King, who's both an actress and a model, is famous for her roles in the Sin City movies and big hits like Pearl Harbor and Star Wars The Clone Wars. She's also been in the TV series Heart of Dixie and the Netflix series Black Summer. Number 5. Nicole Byer Nicole Byer, another actor on our list with heaps of voice work, has lent her talents to animated series like Rugrats, The Boss Baby, Back in the Crib, Woke, which mixes animation and live action, and Tuca and Birdie. But you've probably also seen her in person in shows and movies like Grand Crew, Home Economics, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, Transparent, and her own show, Loosely Exactly Nicole. Number 4. Dot Marie Jones Since her gig as the muscular woman in a 1994 Full House episode, Jones has made quick appearances on tons of iconic sitcoms like Married with Children, Roseanne, and Sybil. She's had recurring roles in shows like Killing It, Glee, and Lizzie McGuire 
but mostly she's been popping up in guest spots on popular TV shows, including some cool lesbian web series. In Glee, she played a trans man, and she's taken on queer roles in Unreal, The Faith Diaries, and the recent gay rom-com, Bros. Number 3. Cynthia Nixon Cynthia Nixon, a Tony, Grammy, and Emmy-winning lesbian actress, has a whopping 13 Broadway shows to her name, more than anyone else on this list except Cherry Jones. Her stage career kicked off with The Philadelphia Story in 1980 and includes hits like The Heidi Chronicles, Angels in America, Wit, and The Little Foxes. But she's probably most recognized for Sex in the City, one of the nine series where she's had regular or recurring roles. In the midst of her busy career, she even made time to run for governor. Cynthia Nixon has played queer characters in the SATC reboot and Just Like That, Netflix's Ratched, and Eleanor Roosevelt in Warm Springs. Number 2. Carlise Burke Carlise Burke, a lesbian actor, has been in the game since 1986, rocking it both on screen and on stage. She's had recurring roles in shows like Mixed Dish, Dave, Crowded, Heroes, and Switched at Birth, plus guest appearances in a bunch more. Some standouts in her film career are In Her Shoes and The Terminal. Oh, and she played a fun lesbian guest role as Monica's surprise girlfriend in Shameless. Number 1. Karen Robinson This Canadian comedic actress has been all over the television and movie scene since 1994. Mary Kills People, Lars and the Real Girl in 2007, A Million Little Things, Frankie Drank Mysteries, Shoot the Messenger and more. Karen Robinson played gay in Schitt's Creek and Pretty Hard Cases. And that brings us to the end of our inspiring journey through the lives and legacies of 50 of the most prolific lesbian and bisexual women actors in the industry. These remarkable women have not only graced our screens with their immense talent, but also have become powerful voices for the LGBTQ community. From groundbreaking roles to off-screen activism, each of these actresses has contributed significantly to both the film industry and the greater cause of equality and representation. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.